All right, this is still the big story on Radio Now, 95.3 FM Lagos. Uh, we, there are reports, actually, that they uh, re-channel, if you know that's the right word to use, these monies into um, fortifying themselves. And by that, I mean procuring more devastating and more sophisticated weaponry are the types you only watch on television and particularly in movies. Uh, that's uh, what some reports say. Yes, you are right. As mentioned earlier, if you recall, I said they collect money for ransom in order to buy weapons. But there is a certain level of weapons that they buy. And don't, don't forget, these weapons, they buy them not as expensive as we they should be. Because uh, uh, most of these weapons are weapons that were used in Syria, in uh, uh, Libya, in um, Iraq, and then uh, areas like that where this uh, offensive is uh, ongoing or has taken place, and then there was infiltration of uh, weapon. We had there's a certain place, uh, it more like uh, it's a no-fly zone, and uh, also it's a free zone. That day we had that um, those are places where they go and purchase these weapons, that weapons are on display on sales there. And then um, nobody goes there, nobody touches whoever is within that uh, zone. It is free to transact buy and sell weapons as if you are buying and selling uh, granite or akara. You know that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, this, and that is between, along that uh, axis of Libya, uh, we had. So, they go, purchase these weapons, come back, but hundreds of millions of naira, my brother, is not a joke. Now, uh, from the time they started and started demanding for ransom of hundreds of millions of naira, and then the sales is going. We had this own recruitment ongoing, as I speak to you, in some northern states, most especially. They go there, uh, they, they, they recruit youths, paying them, promising to pay them 20, 30,000 naira uh, a month just to join them. And they are joining them. Joining them. So it is not uh, so to say about tribe or religion. Uh, it is a, it's a, it's a Nigerian thing. Spe speaking about, speaking about tribe and religion, uh, Doctor, yes. um, mm -hmm. there are also some reports that, you know, or some notions, if you will, that these terrorists are moving here and there in different corners of the country in order to, and spreading themselves in order to achieve their Islamic State goal. Uh, what do you make of that? No, 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 no. You see, that is one of the biggest mistakes a lot of uh, people are making. When they uh, sectionalize the challenges, or based either on fashion or, or religion, there is a mistake. I will give you an example. Mm. Now, he who is want to Islamize a country, why would he want to uh, kidnap a fellow uh, Muslim like him? 95% of people that have so far been kidnapped, 95%, if you take uh, the Northwest, Northeast, North Central, uh, so far, you find out that 95% of those kids kidnapped are Muslims. And the same Muslims are the ones paying the ransom. So if you, are Islam, if you are Islamizing a country, then why was the need for arresting a fellow uh, your religion makes? You don't have to do that since you are trying to bring a, a, a certain religion. So it is not correct to say that um, uh, they are trying to Islamize uh, Nigeria. No. They say they, they, they kidnap more Muslims, they collect more money from the Muslims than other tribes. If you go take a statistic, please from today or all the listeners, should change the statistic of those that have so far been kidnapped, uh, you know, in the entire kidnapping process on bandit you will come to conclude that, like I said, 90%, 90% of those kidnapped so far are Muslims and are Northerners. And these guys are also Muslims in most cases, and also Northerners in most cases, apart from those that I said that they are coming from outside the country. So if you are Islamizing, why uh, kidnapping and collecting ransom from your fellow religion made. So that is a very wrong notion. That is a very wrong, wrong assumption. It mm. is a Nigerian thing. We should look at it as a Nigerian security challenge and we should face it as such. Mm. But as long as we continue to create division among ourselves on tribal religion, they will continue to have these challenges and they will continue to consume us. Mm. Now, just uh, there was an arrest in the southwest of uh, uh, Haram leader. And also, uh, continuously like that. So if you don't work together, if we don't work together as Nigerians, who are trying to save Nigeria as our nation, working towards assisting security agencies to overcome the security challenges that we have been faced with, I can guarantee you it will take a long time to overcome this. And before it will 
uh, it can be overcome, it must have consumed a very much great number of Nigerians. And also, uh, when there's no stability, when there's no security, naturally there will be no stability and there will be no development. Mm. When it started, others were looking at it as if it is a northern problem. In fact, when Boko Haram started, even within the north, northwest and northeast, where uh, northwest and north central people were looking at the people from the northeast as if, well, it's not our problem. This is the problem of northeast. It will end up in northeast. So even uh, within the north, the northwest and the north central uh, the habitants were not too bothered about what was going on in the north east because it has not come to that. Mm. Gradually, gradually, it has consumed the entire three region of the north, northwest, northeast, north central, and it is moving upward mm. to the southwest, south, southeast, and south south. So if Nigerians continue to see it on a religious basis or on uh, on regional basis or on tribal basis it will end up consuming everybody before you know what is happening. Mm. And by the time we realize that we have been consumed, by that time it would have been too late, uh, mm. God forbid, but we hope and pray God will never have that opportunity, and we pray for uh, the Nigerian security uh, agencies for, 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 for strength, for, for, you know, for, for, for ability mm. to be able to tackle this security, for God to give them the wisdom uh, to be able to think of way out of these challenges okay. as we have been providing uh, advice and suggestions All on the right. best way that we think uh, these security challenges can be calmed. Okay, uh, in a few words, Doctor. Um, now, from the uh, from from you know having it as bad as we have it now it could get worse uh there is also the you know the, the fear of radicalization um of yeah. others across the country making yeah. the situation get worse or exacerbating the situation and yeah. just as you said or in your words consuming us even further what's your take yeah. on this idea of radicalization well the de-radicalization de you, are you talking of radicalization? Radicalization of others okay, well, in different corners of it, the country. Like I said, it unknowingly, has already, unknowingly. It has already started. These guys are going recruiting young boys and girls into their folds because there are challenges of jobs. Youths have no jobs. Youths have no hand so work, how do no we skills. Stop that? How do we stop that? The government has to raise up. We must create opportunities for our Nigerian youth to have something to do. Yes, the government cannot co uh, consume everybody, so to say. There's no job uh, in government. But government needed to create a lot of skills acquisition centers, provide grants for youth that will go through these skills, who learn these skills so that they can go and set up a business of their self. Nigeria is a very vast country. God has blessed us with talent. Mm. Once you teach a Nigerian something, within three months, I can guarantee you in six months, he's mm. an expert, he will do what you more than what he was, what he's even taught. Mm. So the government should look into serious uh, and aggressive, uh, you know, creation of skills acquisition centers, mm. and also providing the youth with necessary skills mm. to be able to stand on their own, not so, just so, the skills, so but providing them with certain level of grants okay. so that they can take off, okay. and their mind will be off any crime and criminality. Okay, so basically addressing the root causes of the problem. Well, I like right. the causes of the problems are simple. Okay. The problems are, like I said, first, uh, unemployment, mm. poverty, and lack of proper uh, education mm. with social assistance. Mm. Those that are educated have no work. Mm. Those that are, 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 those that are not educated equally have no work. They also have no skills. Mm. So when there's poverty, there's unemployment among youth. Mm. They expect them to go. They need money. They want to spend money. Okay. They have problems. And Nigerian youths today are even eager to make more money more than me and you. A 16 years old boy will begin. His thinking is beyond my thinking. Is beyond your thinking. Is beyond the thinking of even the 70 or 70 year old man. Okay. What he's thinking is, I want to be. I want to be super rich. I want to own a very big car. I want to build a very big house. I want to marry right. a beautiful woman. Okay. Uh